Hello, I'm Cheryl from Sweet Calico. I'm just going to do a demonstration, show you how to do uh, the free motion embroidery like I do for my designs. I use it to draw dolls or make some wall art. Uh, so the tools that you will need, um, most important of all would be this uh, darning type foot. You can get them, there is, they'll have to be a specific one for your sewing machine as they all have a different connection type to the shaft. Uh, the other thing that you'll need is a stabiliser. Uh, this is a tearaway stabiliser, so you can see it's quite flexible. It is um, it is stiff. Uh, what it does is it um, creates a, a thicker base behind your fabric so that your material doesn't move around while you're doing your design and the other thing that I typically use is a leather size sewing needle in my sewing machine I find that these are a bit more durable and can cope when I've got several layers of, um, of fabric on the go so this is an example that I've done without using the stabiliser, that's just to show you how it pinches up if you don't use it and this is an example using stabiliser. So once you've finished doing your stitching the, you can then tear that away from the back of the project and then you can press it to make it nice and neat. So this is the uh, little job that I'll work on today to show you how to do free motion embroidery. I have done an applique onto this piece and this would also be called a raw edge applique because I won't be going over it'll show a slightly raw edge to the fabric I'm not sure if you can see the detail in that okay so I'm going to move over to the sewing machine okay this is my sewing machine it's a Janome it's not a industrial sewing machine but it is quite a good strong heavy base quilters sewing machine actually so I've already attached the foot onto the machine so you can see there the this is the the darning foot and the next step would be to drop the feed dogs so the feed dogs are these items here so by raising them they would typically guide your fabric from the front of the machine through to the back but by dropping them they can't control which direction the fabric goes in and it gives you more flexibility. Now I've got my piece of fabric and I need to put the piece of stabiliser behind that, just ensuring that it is behind the actual piece that I will be stitching. And I'll lower my foot and pop the needle in. I'll just make sure that thread's not going to get tangled up in the to work. Put it out the way. Okay, now I start by stitching with a reasonably slow speed and moving fairly slowly. And I'm not fussy about making sure it goes exactly on the line because I like quite a, a sketchy look to it. But as you can see, you can move the fabric in any direction you like. So to begin with, I'm just going to go on the outline of the flower here. And then I'll get a little bit crazy and show you how the actual sketching process happens. So by going this sort of speed, I can't move the machine too fast. If I move the work too fast, I'll end up with quite a long stitch there. If I stop, I'll end up with clumps of, of um, thread. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And now I'm going to go in and show you a little bit of the, the true freestyle drawing that it can do. See, I'm not too fussy about where my lines go. I can go back over them and define them a bit better as I need to. Thicken them up a little bit. Define that a little bit more. And that's it.
So now I would just check the piece to make sure that it looks okay, that all of the stitching is even, I don't have thinner areas. And if I'm happy with that, then I'll tear away the stabiliser. And that's it. Thank you for watching.